Good morning, San Jose Middle School Scorpions. Today is already Thursday, October 15th, and we are here to start thinking about what it might be like for us to go back to school. So I want you to take a look at this picture of the mask wearer on this first screen. Can you see what the problem is? You probably can. You know what? We're protecting our lungs when we're wearing a mask and also the lungs of others. So guess what? Your nose is attached to your lungs. So it's really important that your mask cover both your mouth and your nose, and you need to wear a mask whenever you're on campus. So this is a no-no. Let's move on today. Uh, tomorrow is Friday, so it is spirit day. So you're gonna wear your blue and yellow and show your scorpion spirit and maybe get a scholar dollar. Uh, we continue to share um, information uh, regarding Hispanic Heritage Month. Shirley Diaz wants you to know about her country, Guatemala, where her favorite food is ricotta de muerto y tamales chipian. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Y el jocón. Her country has many tourist places. She lived on a ranch in her house. She had many animals, and her favorite place in Guatemala is panajacum. So, Guatemala, more information from Shirley Diaz. Thank you. Hey, students, maybe that last grade report wasn't exactly what you hoped it would be, or maybe it was fabulous. So, either way, you might want to be interested in the tutoring club. We already have five people who are signed up to be tutors in various grade levels. So, if you are interested in being a tutor, um, you can... You can sign up and if you're interested in having a tutor you can sign up in either case please be clear about what you're wanting to do and send an email to alex rogers here is his school email address send him an email and he will send you some information about how you can get involved with the tutoring club so thanks to everyone involved in that remember the pumpkin contest is coming up you need to have your pumpkin carved and your photos submitted by October 28th. Entries will be posted and then you can win in various categories, cutest, scariest, funniest, and most creative. So if you need a pumpkin, you can either send me an email or send an email to this person right here and we'll make sure that we get you one. So participate in this students, it'll be fun. We've been doing a lot with scholar dollars lately. And so I just want to do these scholar dollar shout outs for various students. So Ama Camacho is a community builder. Uh, Ian Hunsiger is a change maker. Here are some lifelong learners, Savannah Cooley, Joseph Kim, Sasha Acevedo, and Denise Chung. So all of those people, congratulations for being a lifelong learner. And here are some more community builders. Faramina Lubin, Zuli Aya, Ruby Rodas Veliz, and Anne Pergamen Shakova, uh, Gianni Zucconi, and Dominic Scafani. So, all of these people deserve congratulations. We are so proud of you. I wanted to put this lunch information up one more time for you. Remember, there's lots of places you can go to pick up lunch, and it doesn't matter who you are. Any person under the age of 18 can get lunch here um, at any of these pickup sites. So you get lunch and breakfast for the next day. And so you can walk up to this one at Linwood, but there's others where that are drive through. So, uh, oh, here's another walk up at the Olive School area. So get yourself some lunch and some breakfast for the next day. And finally, our slide for today is about El Salvador. Here is some beautiful pictures. Nicole Gravadilla has uh, put this up for us, and she also has some more information. She wants us to know that El Salvador is a beautiful, amazing place with lots of nice and kind people. They always say a friendly hello or hola in Spanish. Most of her family lives there. They are religious, and they celebrate Christmas with family and friends. Also, the most important food they eat is pupusas, arrows, and beans. They have beaches, pools, and lots of animals. They have baby chicks, parrots, cows, and more. So thank you for these beautiful pictures. Nicole would like us to know that she loves El Salvador so much. 
So getting ready for the day, students, we have first, second, and third period today, and then a little bit of lunch at 1230. And then you have to get online again and do your work for fourth, fifth, and sixth period. Remember, we're using this time to move you forward in your learning. So it's important that you get this work done uh, right after lunch. So get that done. Good job. All right, students, we're super proud of you. Um, we are hoping that everything is going well. And we want you to make it a great day.